Hey everyone, this is the video portion of how to install the version 4 hybrid that BlackBerry Crackman has made up for everybody. This is going to pretty much be the same as the instructions that follow in that same thread, but if you'd like to watch a video instead, you at least have that as an option. To do a little prep work before you actually install it onto your device, to be able to install it onto your device, it's been recommended that either 113 or 132, which is leaked software, has been installed to your PC. It is the uh, most stable base operating system that you should have installed to your PC, not to your device. Uh, what I recommend and many people recommend is that your BlackBerry has been wiped, whether you're using JL Commander or CrackUtil, which are all programs you can find here at BlackBerry OS. Um, Beyond having 113 or 132 installed to your PC and wiping the phone, uh, you're pretty much ready to go. Um, once you're ready to install, make sure that you have backed up your BlackBerry and you've also backed up your third-party third party applications that are also on your BlackBerry. Download the hybrid version 4 and navigate to that. I have it right here. And you're going to double click that installer. The wizard comes up, says, Welcome to BlackBerry Crackman version 4 hybrid install program. You're going to click next, then next again. It's going to ask you a question. The destination directory does, doesn't exist. Do you want it to be created? You're going to answer no, so click on no. Next to the address bar, you're going to click on this little browse button, and you're going to navigate to where you are going to install this software. It's going to be under My Computer, C, Program Files, Common Files, Research in Motion, Shared Files, Loader Files, and then you're just going to choose the 132 or the 113, whichever one you want to choose. Um, and remember, it's either or. You don't have to have both installed to your computer. If you have more than one file in loader files, that's okay. Just click on the 132, like I have done, and then have it highlighted, and then click OK. Once that's all set, you're going to click Next, and it's going to give you one last warning showing that you're installing it to 132 ver uh, platform 162, and you're going to click Start. This will take approximately two minutes to load up. It's not too bad, and I'll continue when this is done. Okay, so now that that's done, that took about a minute actually, so it's not too bad of a uh, wait. It's going to say installation completed, BlackBerry Crackman version 4 hybrid has been successfully installed. As long as you see that, you're going to click next. Next screen, you're going to click exit. We're going to get rid of that window, and you're going to navigate to C, Program Files, Common Files, Research in Motion, and App Loader this time. In App Loader, you're going to find the vendor file, which I've already deleted, but it's going to look, or it's going to be the last file in there. It's going to say vendor.xml. You're going to highlight that and delete it, or right click and delete it. As long as that's the only file that you get rid of, you're, you're good to go there. And then Back up top in the same window, it's gonna, you're going to see a little handheld application loader. It's called Loader, and it looks like a little BlackBerry phone. That's the installer to install the software onto your phone, the hybrid onto your phone. So at this point, make sure that your device is plugged in with the USB port to your PC, and you're going to double-click the loader icon. It takes a few seconds for this to uh, bring the wizard up. Alright, so this comes up, welcome to the application loader wizard, you're going to click next. Your pin number will show at the top in the little drop down box, if it doesn't, click in the drop down box and see if it's in there. You're not going to uh, click any other boxes except for next, as long as your pin number is showing. And it's going to connect to your device, it's a reading application if you have software on your phone already, if it's wiped, whatever the case is. Okay, that took about two minutes. 
Okay, in here you're going to see your BlackBerry 4.7 system software and the 4.7 core applications, your top two options here. Those, you're not going to be able to do anything with it, but that's the software. That's what's going to actually be installed to your device. Beyond that, everything else I think pretty much is unchecked. If you didn't wipe your phone, you may find some things in here that are checked off. If you did wipe your phone, then everything will be blank except for the grayed out sections. Uh, what I always do is click, check off the ones that I really do indeed want, especially the Black, BlackBerry Application Center and the BlackBerry Messenger, so you don't have to go chasing after it after the fact to get it installed. If you keep scrolling down, you'll see third-party applications that um, may or may not be checked off. If there's something in here that you want, you can check it off. If you don't want it and it is checked off, then you're going to uncheck it. Regardless, because I've backed my phone up and I've backed up my third application, the third party application software, I'm not going to do anything because when I restore it, I'm going to get everything back. So at this point, I'm going to click next. It's telling me what it's going to do. It's going to install the things that I checked off plus the things that were already checked off. And you're going to click on finish. This could take anywhere from five or ten minutes which I've seen that's the, the um, smallest amount of time all the way up to 30 to 40 50 minutes uh, it all depends on uh, what you're loading and uh, I'm just loading bare bones so it shouldn't take long at all okay so that took about 10 minutes and it says your device software has been updated successfully I'm going to click close and that should be it. So your um, device should be restarting at this point. It could take anywhere from, let's say, five to eight minutes. Your device should be restarting at this point. And once it's completely up, you'll go through the little wizard that's on your phone saying OK, and the media is inserted and all that good stuff. Then you can go back into your de desktop manager and restore your backup, restore your third-party applications, uh, again, those instructions are on a different thread, and you should be good to go. Do a couple battery pulls just to be safe. When your device is completely up and running, whether it be before or after you do the restores, you can make sure that you have the hybrid loaded on and you have the correct uh, application number and platform number. It's going to say application version 4.7.0.132, and the platform is the 400162. So that's 132162. Just so you know that you have the right version. As long as you see that, you're good to go. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the thread. See ya.